Hey everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. If you're already a subscriber, I do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Please, next to the subscribe button, hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification every time I put up a new video. All right, so if you've been following along, you know that my family has cut the cord. Uh, we no longer have cable TV, so we're looking for alternate entertainment options for our television. Uh, so far, uh, I have set up a network switch. I have set up a my cloud server which is an old one not working the way that i want it's you know in order for me to use the media server on it i have to keep a computer on at all times which wastes a lot of money and is it's a 2012 imac so it doesn't have much life left so i don't want to push it so what i did was i went out and i bought a new cloud server or a network area storage device nas uh, I have had so much luck with the WD MyCloud series that I purchased a MyCloud Home. This is a newer version of the cloud server. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to set up this network area storage device, which, like I said, is also a cloud server, so I'm able to access it outside of the home. Uh, and we'll see how this works. Uh, what my plan is is to set up my media server on this uh, so that I can stream it throughout the house. Uh, we have one more piece of equipment that I'm waiting to come in, which is actually a TV tuner card, so that I'll be able to use this device as a DVR uh, for over-the-air television. So that that hopefully will be in later on, so I'll be able to It'll be the next video, most likely. But what I'm going to do right now, let's set up this NAS, what my cloud home server. All right. So what we have here is we have the my cloud home by Western Digital. It's four terabytes, uh, backup, iOS and Android, Android support, and HD streaming. That's what's important to me here. So let's take a look here. Very fast mobile setup. Uh, so you can centralize everything, and that's what I want to do. And you're able to access it anywhere. So, like I said, I've used the Western Digital. The other one that I have is about eight years old. Uh, it's never really given me any problems. So, what do you say we open this thing up and let's set it up? Pop this open. Well, hello to you too, Western Digital. Very quick start. This you need to save. I'm going to black that out, but you're not going to be able to see it. But there is a key. Make sure that you save that. Okay. And we got the server itself. Okay. Nice. You got your Ethernet. USB, so you can daisy chain on this also. In other words, add extra storage. So I might actually take that other storage device and put it on this one. That way I don't have to recreate a server. Okay, so that's nice. And we have a power cord. have connection uh, what type of cable is this I think this is cat sex nice so it looks like it's pretty straightforward the setup Oops, we got one more thing in here this is very good because it's a three month pass to Plex and that's what I'm gonna set up as my media server so I get to try it out for three months, see how it works. Very nice. Okay, and more instructions. These are detailed. 
Okay, so that's all set. That's all set. All right, let's put the um, the NAS where it's going to stay. All right, just as I did with the server here, the new NAS server is, we're going to go right next to it. So first thing I got to do is I got to take the plastic off, and I just love taking this stuff off. Oh. It's one of those satisfying things. Sorry, it was just, I like it. All right, so very basic. Okay, we're gonna take this, this NAS, just put it on the side here. Like I, right now, it's just to set it up. I will neaten this up a lot more later on. Okay, so now we're going to take the power cord. I already took the twisty thing off of it, so you don't have to hear me complaining about it this time. And let's send some power to the NAS, or actually just plug it in for now. Next step, we'll take the Ethernet cable, connect this to my network. Put one end in there. All right, so the next step that I need to do is let's uh, go onto the computer here and we'll follow the instructions on how to set this up on the network. All right, so we're on my computer right now. See what will happen if I go where they tell me to go. So I need to go to my cloud.com slash hello all right so right now what it's doing i think it's looking through my network okay all right so it has my device we will connect Okay, I never do it analytics. Okay, so I need to get the app, so I'll have to go on my phone to get that one. Okay, so let's go ahead on over here to the app store. As I said, I think I may already have this. Okay, and we'll do a search. All right. Okay, and the app is called My Cloud Home. So we'll search for that. My Cloud Home. I already have it, so let's open it. My Cloud Home is connected to the power. Device is plugged into your home network. The light is on. Let's press continue. Okay, we'll try again. There we go. Okay. Nine. Okay. So let's blur this out. All right, it looks like I'll have to come back to this. I don't know why it's not connecting. Try again. Okay, we'll come back to this in a little bit. Okay, so on here, we'll continue the clock for this. And boom, wow, it's already all set up. Holy mackerel. Okay, so the My Cloud Home also come with some apps with it. I'll have to look through these because I don't know what they all are. Plex is the media server that I'm going to use, so I'm gonna we'll get back to that in a little while, but well, that was very, very easy to set up. 
So let's see if my computer actually finds it in the network. Okay. WED my cloud. Let's look in the network. There it is right there. Right, everyone. I have figured out what I was doing wrong. I actually had to go over here and you have to install the desktop app. Okay, which will show up up here. You click on that. Click in. There you go. I have access to it now. So what I'm going to need to do is I still need to set up my phone. For some reason, it is not accepting. So uh, I have to figure that out. Uh, so let's try going over here on the phone again and see if I get lucky. All right. So this is a different screen than I got the last time. So let's sign in. Okay, that's the email that I want. It recognizes my face. Let's continue. Okay, the privacy statement. Okay, same thing as the other one. We will... Uh, we'll do that later. Uh, yeah, we'll do that later. I'm sure I can set it up. Okay, able to browse the photos. There we go. I am able to get in there. That is nice. Okay, as of right now, I don't have folders set up or anything, so, and I only have one picture in there. So let's help see how quickly this updates. So we'll go back over here to the desktop. Okay, and uh, let's go to Finder. Okay. We'll go, let's add another picture, just grab one here, okay, drag it over to the folder, it's in, okay, let's go back to the phone, let's see how quickly this updates, all right, back to refresh, Oh, okay. So I can actually set up the apps through here, too. Cool. Oh, so there we go. Picture's already up. Okay. There we go. That's really good. Alright, we'll go back over the screen here. Alright, so as we can see right now, files and folders are all set. There we go. Let's go back to our settings. All right, it looks like the server is all set right now. So I have to do some configuring to make sure that there are folders and everything all set, but I think I'm pretty happy on that. So that should work pretty well. All right. All right, everyone. So that was the setup of the WD My Cloud Home NAS server on my network. Gave me a little bit of a problem there. Unfortunately, my problem, I, I entered the wrong, um, kept on entering the wrong password. So I figured that out, set it up. It's exactly what I want to use. Uh, so the next thing that I need to do is I actually need to set up a Plex server. Uh, as you saw in the video here, the app is already installed on the, um, the NAS server here. So hopefully it's an easy setup. So most of that is probably going to be on the computer screen. So I've never done this before, so it could be interesting. In any case, I have this cloud server working. Also, actually, one of the other worries that I had was I wasn't going to be able to run both cloud servers on the same network. Seems to be working. So hopefully, hopefully it'll continue to work. So that being said, this video is all set. I, I will give you updates to any changes that I do to the server. Uh, I know I'm going to have to go in and set up a file structure on where certain things are going to go. But for 
the purposes of this video, we're all set. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. Uh, if you are a subscriber, please hit that bell icon. Uh, you get a notification anytime I do videos. Your support allows me to purchase this stuff. Uh, I, uh, you know, I, when I started doing these videos, they are a hobby, which they still are. Um, basically, any money that I do get in from this channel, I am purchasing this stuff so I, that I can create these videos for you guys. So, your support is much appreciated. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, that's fine. Uh, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's a better way for me to set this up. Because like I said, I've never done this before, so this is all new for me. That being said, I'm out of here. Next video should be coming out soon. So thanks for watching. Take it easy, everyone.